So thanks for the feedback everybody. The general consensus seems to be this is um, should be enough basing. When I lift the car I want to get something under the centre of it as well, you know, a, a, um, a bullet jack or something to just give it some support there as well and that should be okay. So with that in mind, um, but they also suggested that you need to make it so I can close my doors. Um, which will mean that this needs to come out. And I'm not going to worry about that just yet. My plan today was to start cleaning up in here on that side. And I just got my panels out to check that I had everything. So I have my outer sill, which is this one here. Another way round. Because it's going on that the other side of the car. So we've got an outer sill. We've got a front floor pan, and the rear floor pan, I think, is the wrong side. I've sent one for the um, driver's side. So, if we look at that... It's going to struggle going in there. Um, so first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get back onto the internet and uh, check what I ordered and order another one if necessary. Okay so that's a little bit embarrassing I ordered the wrong side. Um, so I guess rather than returning it I'll stick it in this side although the back bit is the best bit about the driver's side. Anyway um, well I'll see what I'm going to do about it but right now I've ordered for the other side so what we're going to do now is we're going to clear up in there I'm going to take a um, I think I think what I want to do I, mean, I think it's so rusted it's all going to just fall out anyway but so what I'm going to do is I want to take my grinding disc or wire wheel to it clean it up as much as I can and try to find where it's welded in. I haven't lifted, I haven't jacked the car up or anything yet. I'm going to start by doing um, um, a good clean in there first. Right, so this is um, the plan pan we're currently looking at, this front floor bit. Um, and so it clearly goes in here, the tuck should, let's come out a bit, there we go. It goes in, needs to tuck in under the sill and under there, but we're going to see, we're going to have a huge hole over there still. So if we come back here, I'm missing this great big bit of the transmission tunnel is also rusted through so I'm going to have to do a patch for that by the look of it I can't see any other way of doing it right now um, and I'm going to have to do that and keep everything in place oh I'm just wondering if I'm so I want to I want to get this sill and floor done to give it strength um, before I take everything out because I do intend to take the engine and transmission out but I'm just wondering right now if 
I'm guessing this is the wrong order. Alright, so I've been jacking it up slowly and I was feeling pretty good about it. It seems to be going up nice and evenly, whereas it didn't the first time. And then, as I was lowering it back down, and it's the second time I was lowering it because I was doing it in stages, I think, um, if I can show you, I think this bar here has just given way on the edge here and has folded up. So I'm going to need to support it. Did I get that? So this, this bar across here, as the weight went on it, I think it is cracked in here and come away into that folded up. Um, so we're going to move the support over into the middle there. We'll add an extra support as well, at least. And we'll go from there. So, maybe I did need to give it a bit more structural support before I'm um, in that uh, bracing inside. Okay, so I've moved the jack stands to these frames instead. So this one I'm going to have to work out how to fix at some point. Um, I need to work out where the panels join floor pans so I'm going to come underneath now and I'm going to um, flap disc this bottom um, to see if I can work it out. This, um, I mean, you look at this panel is completely rusted away so really it's not surprising it came off. I'm going to have to, I mean this, oh ouch, Ooh myself from the rust there. Um, so yeah we're gonna deal with this first and then um, so yeah, we're gonna clean underneath and we'll see where we are. So I know this is for the wrong side, but just for size purposes, all right? It looks to me like this piece fits in and just slips under here, okay? And it, it comes all the way up against the side. So presumably I'll have to trim this down because I think it's set to come on this side. Whereas this piece, um, only comes to here and so this support in the middle it has nothing underneath it um, in these two repair panels so it looks like I'll have to weld in a third piece in between there which is fine it's just trying to work it out um, so what I'm uh, interesting the metal underneath is in many ways better and the person was clearly stopping water coming in because they had taped over these holes and they had done that to stop the water coming in which of course just kept it there and allowed it to rot but there we are. Um, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to uh, well we're going to try to find where the spot welds are along here. I'm never very good at working out where the actual spot welds are um, but we'll work backwards from here so we're going to try to get this out so what I might do is I might cut it out and then just that way I work at the edges yeah I'll cut it out so I can work at the edges and we will start by trying to get this removed as much as possible and um, as much as the front so we can get this as close to fitting as possible 
whilst we're waiting for the other bits to come. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. I had previously been using my spare mobile phone as a camera but it's um, I've smashed the screen now for the second time and so I've invested in a better camera or rather a camcorder which hopefully will be more consistent and um, I won't damage it so much right so yesterday um, I managed to come up along here you can see progress I made. I think I managed to not get it on film um, because of my angle was wrong. So we are going to um, continue working along here today. <laughs> But I'm just trying to work out how these panels are going to fit. So this is um, I got this one today, and this is the rear panel. So these go from come from different suppliers. It doesn't look to me like these are going to connect up in the middle in any way. Um, and what it looks like, this one would probably come in from underneath, to be honest. So clearly we've got this lip here that slips under. And we've got this shape here, which I'm guessing is something around this shape here. And then this would weld in underneath. So that sort of makes sense. And it almost makes sense that it therefore comes as far as here. Okay? So that kind of makes sense to me. This panel, well, is still not, to be honest, quite as far forward as it needs to go as you can see all right and even then yeah so it's got to go a bit further forward I think all right and if with that going further forward um, then it doesn't try and do this. Then right, so without going further forward like that, possibly even a bit further, then it comes in here. And that means underneath this. Um, then I've got this bit in the middle which also needs replacing which you know I mean this this is from Rimmers and Rimmers shows a front and a back and it makes it look like they connect up this is from um, they don't have the back at the moment won't have it till after August so this is from um, Rob Sport or Robo Sport or okay and so it might be that they simply don't go together and I need the extra and that's fine uh, I don't particularly have a problem with it um, but the other thing I'm trying to work out is how I get them you see this this is also confusing me this lip coming up like this is confusing me this makes more sense it's more in line with what we see elsewhere okay now the other bit I'm trying to work out and it's just 
poke the light through. So the other bit I'm trying to work out is here. You're gonna focus for me. Okay, so we've got the front panel and clearly it comes back and welds in here, but it needs to go in here somehow. And I don't know how to do that. Um, so what I'm thinking is actually I need to take this structure where the seat goes out. If I'm going to do that, then I need to brace across between the rear trans between the transmission tunnel and the side. So. Yeah, you see, but you see this lip here, you see, I just don't understand how that's meant to actually go in, because I'm sure it doesn't go just, you know, welded in where it is. It needs to um, go inside here, one would have thought. Yeah, so it comes in and under. That's not how the previous one there was done. The previous one was welded along there. Oh, bloody hell, I don't know. Ugh. I just don't know. Maybe I should do the back piece first since it's now arrived. But again, see it's got to get under here. Even if it just goes to the edge, it's still got to get under here. And I'm going to have to fix this, because we can see how that flange is damaged. And this one's damaged. Oh, I don't know if this one is yet. I haven't got that out. Um, And the other bit, to be honest, that I'm worried about is is I got this, you know, the quick, if they call it a quick sill, outer sill, um, and we, you know they don't do the ooh, inner sill any longer. So I just don't know. I mean, this is just. I mean, this this isn't providing anything. Okay, so this outer sill is coming off fine. But I've got to work out how to connect it up and stuff. This is fun. Okay. Right, so I decided I'm going to have a quick look at the back side as well. So I've cut out the middle. And I can see how rust... Well, first of all, the flange along here is really quite rusted and so I think I'm gonna to have to cut out and replace that. This one is in worse condition so I'm gonna to have to cut out so I think what I'm gonna to do tomorrow and of course this flange is also gone. So what I'm gonna to do tomorrow is I'm going to try to maybe up to here just clear this area okay and then look at fixing this okay and fixing this all right and um, with that then a bit more secure I can do the rest of the back all right and know that I've got the back secure and then I can start thinking about the front again um, I just yeah okay that's the plan right now we change by tomorrow Right, it is Saturday. No, it's not. It's Sunday. 3rd of May, I think. I've been unwell for a couple of days, so I haven't made any progress. And we're going to try to get started again today. So I'm not going to film it, but we're going to 
try to go along here and along here and I'll try to go along this flange and along this flange and get that out and then we're going to try to fix along along here and we're going to start by doing that today and then see where we get to so we've um, cut a piece across there which will um, which we can see we've got a cut out and I'm trying to point across at this um, so from here all the way over here we're going to have to cut it out you can see how much rust comes up there the problem is that the floor actually slopes and curves up so if we look at it on this side here we, go. we can see how the floor is flat along here and then it starts to curve up okay and it appears to actually have two flanges one here and then one here one here okay but with nothing in this bit in the middle now, I don't know if that's right or not okay but um, I've got nothing there on that side to really show me where the curve goes um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this as a two-part thing and I'm going to measure I'm going to do a flat bit first along here which fits the curve on the driver's side all right because it should be exactly the same so if I weld in that flat bit get that curve right that height right all right and then I'm going to weld in the flange as a separate piece um, and I think that's probably the best way to do it so it's going to be a, a two-part weld two two long butt welds is what we're going to end up with there and so that's what we're going to work on next we'll start by cutting out a piece of metal um, to go across and replace what we have there going across first right so this is the first part of the repair um, and so I've got it lined up all the way here I won't I'll, I'll end up shortening it at some point but it's lined up all the way up there um, and that fits in I've tried it on the other side and that's fine and so we have exactly two centimeters from the top here to here at both ends okay so what I'm going to do next rather than trying to weld it in like this is I'm actually going to weld on the two flanges so that bit and this bit here and this flange here lines up with um, this um, I don't know if it's a perfect line there actually but it does seem to line up with this kind of um, um, curve that's in there so we're going to line that we're going to do that next and um, yeah we're going to weld those on next so that we have a, a complete piece that we can then put in. Right, so I've cut out my three pieces now which are well together. So clearly it goes like this. I just need to make sure that when I do it, I do them on the flip side because obviously it's the other way. So, um, so the next stage is a bit of welding so that I have a part to weld into place. So this is the piece I've fabricated. Putting these on because I'm not sure if it's still hot. So clearly I need to measure it in properly. And I know the welds aren't pretty here, but I did weld it on the other side as well and then I've ground that down. So um, this is where the floor will get welded on is underneath. So that's the bit I need to be good. So I just need to now measure this into place and I'll probably cut I'll probably cut my um, fabricated bit here so I don't have to go right into the corner because um, I haven't got cutters to go in there okay so I'll probably cut it off here cut it off here maybe um, this bit here is actually a bit of the floor the fabrication stops around here so, 
um, so I'll probably cut it off of the flange at both ends in fact and come up there and bring it up like that um, so I'm quite pleased with that actually um, I think that should be okay um, a decent replacement for what we've got in there um, I did measure the thickness of some of this metal here and this seemed to be the same although it looked pretty thin to me um, but, um, you know I used um, my caliper thingies for it so so that's what we're going with Right, so the plan here is, and this is um, Fitz Fabrications, we tack weld this in place and then um, we cut out as we go around and in theory that gives us um, the perfect fit so I don't know if I'll be able to do that, I don't think I'd quite have the skill but I think if I tack weld it in place and then cut I'll probably um, get a better fit than I do normally so that's what we're going to try doing. Okay, so that didn't work very well. Uh, I must have not cleaned that metal up well enough. No, I probably don't have enough heat. Okay, so we've got it welded in place. I did have the heat too low um, by quite a lot. But I got it in on this side eventually and then I went underneath and got the heat right and welded all the way along the inside. It's a lot nicer to be honest underneath than it is there. Um, but we ground it down a bit. And that's it. So um, we're going to stop there for now and um, call this episode one of the, um, or part one of the passenger floor pens and stuff. I think there might be quite a few parts here as I slowly work through it. Um, we'll do the other side of that supporting bar next, I think, and the, um, the cross bit. Can I get my finger in here? and the cross bit just here. Um, those both need doing next, so that's what we will work on first in the next episode. Hope you're enjoying, um, please feel free to comment, subscribe, give some thoughts and advice and um, you know, um, go from there. Right, bye.